Hi, we're back again. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at, in Manhattan, Kansas, at Kansas State University, and I'm delighted to be here and be joined by the director of bands, professor of music here at Kansas State University, Frank Trace. Thank you. It's great it's, to be here. It's great to have you as uh, coming up here to do the interview with us right, right now, and especially when you've got a few uh, pancakes to flip. Uh, and burgers to to uh, make sure that are, are ready with all the things going on. We've got bands that start here in just a few minutes at noon on this beautiful day. And uh, and your band performs at 9.45 tonight. So well, it's pretty full. Well, let's, let's have full closure here, disclosure here, and let you know that you've been in charge a lot of times, too. I don't do really much of anything here. Okay. So yeah, we just kind of organized it, and they go ahead and do it. We've got great staff and great kids, and they're doing a great job. But it's going to start. It's a beautiful day. 40 bands. Uh, we're excited about this. Well, and what, what our, our viewers should know that last night here in Manhattan, we had uh, horrible thunderstorms that were taking place, and all I could think about was the the, uh, the weather forecast that had been showing on, on the news at various times where this was going to be a cloudy, uh, difficult day with chances of rain, and uh, it's now 65 degrees in Manhattan with beautiful sunny skies. It's a gorgeous day. You're one lucky guy. Well, you know, it's my job to worry about this, and That's I did. Right. So about 2 in the morning, I went outside, did my anti-rain dance in the right? backyard, and the clouds parted and it stopped. So well, that's good. we're good to go for the day. So tell us about, about this festival. The Central States Festival has been around for over 30 years. It's 31 years. It's, it's, a, it's a unique uh, format, whereas it's not a competition. It's a festival, uh, and you... When you come here, I, I want the band directors and the students to walk away with a solid music experience, educational experience, and go back with some tips and techniques sure. and a video and, and uh, evaluations on how they can get better. And that's what we do. So they start here. We have a warm-up field. They come on the field, perform. They'll go up into one of our indoor basketball facilities, and we'll show the video of their per performance. One of our judges will go down with a laser pointer and a microphone and talk to them about it and give them positive, constructive criticism. And then they, they come out. They get their pictures taken come back inside, watch a couple of bands. And most of them will hang around for the day and then watch our marching band later in the evening. And then we give them all the packets at the award ceremony, and, and then they go home and, and hopefully, you know, watch the video again and listen to the tapes and, li and watch the, uh, read the video or read the um, written comments and then uh, take what they can and become better musicians and better, better players, better right. player people. And future Wildcats. We hope so. That's the game here because purple's a good of color. Of course. You bet yeah, it is. Absolutely. You bet it is. Uh, so in, in, can you kind of give us a, a summary of how many groups that are here and where they're coming from and the sizes of the schools absolutely there are 40 bands here in this we have to cap it at that we'll start at noon and we'll be out of here performance wise about 10 15 tonight so it's a long day and we're especially grateful to the athletic department here and the university if you look at the facilities that we have they're phenomenal just absolutely phenomenal and we use all this coach snyder who is my hero and many people's heroes is, is probably the greatest teacher I've ever met. Uh, but he, he allows us to do these sorts of things in his field and his home, so we really appreciate that. Forty bands from all across Kansas, some small bands, some very large bands. There's bands here from Oklahoma. There's bands here from Nebraska. There's bands here from a, a variety of states around the region. It's just a good opportunity for them to come in in a very safe and pleasant and positive atmosphere where they can come in and show us what they can do, and then our folks can, can help them. And you know, the really neat thing we have about this, too, is we're doing about 20 clinics. As I split my staff, my staff in half, my uh, assistant director, Dr. Alex Wimmer, is over at Memorial Stadium where we practice, and there are bands having an hour clinic with our staff. And there are bands here in the indoor football facil facility with one of our former graduate students, Gavin Smith, who's now teaching in a high school band in Texas, come back up and they have an hour clinic there. So you have an hour clinic. We break up in the sectionals. Our music ed majors will split them up into high brass, low brass, high woodwinds, low woodwinds, percussion, tubas, color guard, you name it. And they'll do 15-minute schedule section, sectionals with them. So everybody wins. The kids in the band win. The directors mm -hmm. win. Our future band directors get a good taste of what this is all about. They do a great job, and, and everybody goes home happy, we hope. What I, what I was really kind of struck by is that I, uh, I did some pre-work with all of this, and I sent emails out to all of these band directors that were coming in, just introducing mm -hmm. myself and letting them know that we were going to be on the air and uh, that this live webcast was going to be going across, across the country, around the globe, 
really. I mean, it, it just in people having the opportunity to, to see what's going on here in Manhattan at Kansas State. What's interesting about this was that I was struck by the responses that I got from some of the band directors who pretty well gave me an indication they have been in their jobs for quite some time. And they're very proud of that, that the fact that they are, they are wholly committed to being involved with their schools and to take their bands to the next level. And this is a part of what they do. This is a good place. This is uh, some great band directors here, some good people. They have the right vision, the right goal in mind. They have the right philosophy about this. And, and, and I'm really pleased and happy and proud that they're here. And I'm really grateful that they're here because they're sending us great students. Oh, yeah. You bet. Makes my job a bit easier. Tell us a little bit about Kansas State. Kansas State's a wonderful place. There's about 24, 25,000 students here. I've been here for quite a few years. And this is my 25th year, actually. So far, you like it? Uh, so far, I like it. The <laughs> jury's still out on whether they like me or not, but uh, I'm a tenured full professor, so there's not a lot they can do about that at this point here, <laughs> right? right. Uh, you know, <laughs> I came here a long time ago, and I'm not from Kansas, and I really, to be honest with you, thought I'd stay a couple years and go back home to Ohio someplace. Yeah. We fell in love with it. City of Manhattan, Kansas State, uh, Coach Snyder, the students here, the administration, this whole university is just a wonderful, wonderful place to be and to learn, especially to come and be a, a, a musician, a band director. Uh, we have a 423-piece marching band. There's 380 kids on the field. And 24% of the kids in our band are music ed majors. They're going to be band directors. 22% right. are engineering majors. And there's a little bit of everything else. But the, the great thing about this university, it's there's something – about the atmosphere here and the people here that's unique it's welcoming it's supportive it's friendly it's 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 a good place to be from and that's you know i'm still here i'm here till retirement death or assassination and <laughs> who knows what's going to happen here well, right? i think everybody needs to know that uh he's he's very modest when it comes to talking about his accomplishments uh this is this is not just a place that's been good to him this is a place that is, enjoys how good Frank Trace has been to them. And uh, the, the wonderful things that have taken place with the bands, the traditions that you have continued to extend, and those new ones that you've, you've created, uh, there, there's just great things going on here, Frank. Well, you're very kind. Uh, this, this beats working for a living, there's no question. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's the truth. Yeah, it's, it's just a wonderful thing, and I'm enjoying it. Well, I know that you're you're eager to get out there to make sure everybody's doing their thing, and uh, so I'm going to say thank you. Maybe we can get you back in here later, and do do a little bit of talking about some of the band performances, and and uh, so we'll see you around. That would be great, and thanks to BandDirector.com and all you folks for doing this. This is wonderful. We're glad you're here. That's great. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in just a moment. Uh, just keep in mind, this is the 2017 Viewer's Choice Online Marching Series webcast live from Manhattan, Kansas, and Kansas State University. It's sponsored by KHS America, Academic Alliance, Jupiter Band Instruments, Mapex Drums, and Majestic Percussion. 